everyone. Welcome to Space Zamboni. My name is Alex. I'm man. And this is our lovely guest of the day, Ray. So uh, Ray has been working with us um, behind, actually behind the scenes in front of the camera basically Ooh. for a long time now. Uh, we've known him for uh, three years. 20 years. 23 years. Yeah, and it's been a long, <laughs> long time. Long two decades, like, man. But you know <laughs> what? what? It feels like it's only been a couple of years that's gone by so quick. So if you guys are watching this, know in the middle of the uh, video there's going to be a ad break, which we're going to be able to show you guys an opportunity to win an Amazon gift card. And you'll see things that are totally not just our merch currently. All right. <laughs> giggity, giggity. And uh, we're also going to be playing a game towards the middle or end of the podcast, too. So stay t- tuned for that as well. So uh, Ray has his channel. It's Lesbian Cuisine. And uh, do you know when you started that channel? Or at least when you went from Ray Slayer to Lesbian Cuisine? Oof. That was... Uh... It was like the beginning of 2014, I believe. It was around like March Damn. 2014. That's yeah. why. Uh, I figured like around that time I needed to reinvent because uh, the name wasn't really sticking. The content wasn't sticking. And about half a bottle of vodka later. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. The, the name is actually an homage to an old friend of mine mm-hmm. who... Uh, we, we were old Xbox buddies. Mm. His name was Lesbian Mailbox. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. We, we haven't really kept in touch for a while, but uh, we were very close, and I missed him a lot at that time, so I was like, oh, you know what? We can do something nice here. So I figured Lesbian Cuisine would be good, and the rest is just history. Damn, that answers my question. Yeah. Matt was already lined up. He was going to say, hey, did we ever talk about how uh, Lesbian Me. Cuisine was originated i wish i had like my stack of blank index cards i just throw <laughs> <Next>. <laughs> <laughs> there goes our Damn. fucking <laughs> that's the only Fuck. question the whole podcast <laughs> <laughs> that's all i had planned all Shit. i want to know oh. was your name uh so we originally met because my wife used to play fancy star online with you yeah right so um eventually you were looking for a to rebrand your channel a little bit in terms of the lesbian cuisine stuff and you're looking for like the channel art and i think she recommended we get in contact right so after that i like created the art we started talking i think we like vibed like immediately day one <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because the day i went to help you with the art and stuff i looked at all your videos and i literally spent the entire day like watching every single one of your videos just to know like i'm like this guy's goddamn awesome <laughs> And like back then, you had a lot of like the gameplay videos and stuff too, and I was instantly, I was instantly hooked. But you also like just explain like the kind of stuff you do make for those uh, who are watching. It, I'd like to think of my channel as like a an all-purpose center mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, I try not to be stuck to just one type of genre. I'll do commentaries, uh, montages, killtages. Although I'm not sure if they're in the same category. Um, Hank music Hill. videos, Hank <laughs> Hill. <laughs> Dragon Ball as, Hill. as of late. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just like a, a mix of things. Some, sometimes uh, shit posts, memes. You know, that's uh, that's another recent thing. It's generally just uh, like a like a jack of all trades kind of thing. You know. Yeah, it's good because when you do stuff like that too, you could like have fun with it. And I think yeah. the, the the moment you start feeling like oh shit, there's like a lot of pressure on, like it feels. It really does. Yeah, it's never meant to feel like a job. Yeah, exactly. 100%. So, uh, between us and our group, you usually have a catchphrase, which is eating <laughs> ass. Like, would you eat ass if blank? <laughs> so, if you ever hang out with us or ever spend the day with, like, us and Ray, at some point, the prompt will come up. Like, would you eat ass if blank and blank? <laughs> if but would you like eat coconuts ass? custard? <laughs> so, so, Matt had a, a question he wanted to ask you. Yeah, Mr. Raymond. Who would be your dream ass to eat? Could be anybody in the world. Any he told celebrity? Me to, he yeah. told me Tanaka. Ooh. That was way too quick. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking thought about that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, like, it's like going to McDonald's. You, you know what you want to order the second you get in line. Because if not, people are going to be pissed off. So, so. what's your dream ass situation? Yeah. Uh, like, what how, would how, be the taste? Like, what would be like the color of it? <laughs> what would be the, like the poop amount around the o-ring the pink donut portion like what's the layout or the spread contrary to popular belief i do not want any scat involved all right so no poopy sprinkles 
We got Damn, no food it. sprinkles. <laughs> there goes my dream. Damn. Is. No chocolate eclairs. None of that, man. No, no delicate frosting of poop. Shit. As far as color, it could be rainbow. As, as mm. far as that goes. Uh, hemorrhoids. What's your? What's your? I meant more like situation. Like, is it oh. on a beach or is it like at a playground? <laughs> a playground. <laughs> like a, in the middle of a kid's birthday party. <laughs> you're you're riding like... a swing <laughs> in a playground, and, and every time the person's halfway like, up, yeah, just. Uh, or, or like you roll up to this kid's birthday party. There's like a big old cake, and then next to it's just like she's leaned over <laughs> doing and cake. Farts. All the kids are like, "What's that for?" It's like, "That's for Ray." Don't worry. <laughs> this about is my it. cake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that cake. I, I mean, on a beach sounds good. You know, we'll probably have a lot of warriors, but I don't care. Would, <laughs> would you do like a salt lick and a salt yeah and like uh like bite a lime afterwards after you eat the ass or I you just well, want to eat the straight ass that that sounds nice i might as well take a tequila shot out of her ass mm. oh my god that'd be good she'll be drunk you'll be drunk yeah everyone's you'll, drunk everybody's yeah. drunk <laughs> the kids are playing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the next Corona commercial. You just doing like it just our Jose the Cuervo. Party. Yeah. They're like, ah! and then just <laughs> Jose Cuervo. You could do a shot of me out of somebody's ass. <laughs> the new catchphrase is just I yeah yeah. <laughs> Matt, do you have a dream ass situation? My dream ass situation, um, probably would be in like a Japanese sex hotel. Whoa, um, that's going all out. Resident Evil style. That way, so I'm eating ass under dire circumstances. So it's like if... So you got a pistol with like yeah. two bullets. So I got like a pistol <laughs> with three bullets. I've got one green herb, not even like the full set of three, oh, where it's the mountain of it. That's a full heal. Someone's um, completing a fetch quest the other way around. And I also got <laughs> yeah. built by like one of those snakes that's like red and yellow kills a fellow from Resident Evil 1. So I'm poisoned on top of that. And I'm also in danger. So, I am eating some ass. The ass is tyrant flavored. Um, and it's just really delicious. You know, tyrant flavor you think sounds really necrotic and gross, but it does. you learn to appreciate it. It's, some, it's, yeah. it's an acquired taste. It's kind of like licorice. Is that your secret kink? All yeah. of a sudden, just like <laughs> Resident Evil. Resident Evil fantasy. In pain and or dire situation. <laughs> Someone yeah. chasing you. Yeah. How are you supposed to enjoy an ass when you're getting chased? Exactly. It's exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's i'll drink to that that's hot Cheers, so my, my dream ass situation yeah. is a three ass spread Ugh. right so there's three asses kind of like one of those weird hotel motels or sex dungeon areas sex dungeon wow <laughs> where they're not labeled <laughs> yeah. it's just like three asses choose your door yeah it's like choose your door but th they look like the perfect ass all of them yeah. i choose one and then I had to find out if it was Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, or Andrew Garfield. Oh. oh. What do you think Tom Holland's ass would taste like? Too spry. What about Tobey Maguire? I would be Maguire? shooting for Tobey Maguire's. Tobey Maguire's, I feel like, would taste like sea biscuit. I see you're a man of culture. <laughs> oh. I think Tom Holland's the best Spider-Man, but Tobey Maguire has the best ass. Tom Holland's mm. would probably have a vanilla taste to it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like maybe, like, tea and biscuits. I feel like the yeah. caramel macchiato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I could feel a caramel That's macchiato so business going on down there. Yeah. Like where the sun don't shine. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder what everyone else... If you guys have your own dream ass Put it in the comments. Yeah, put it in the comments below. Tell us who who's asked what's the ideal situation. Mm -hmm. If it'd be a sex dungeon and you like yeah. secretly sprout that out of your mouth without even thinking about it. I, I like the idea of an ass spread. It's like a yeah. flight, right? Oh my like god, your yeah. flight, but it's just ass. And it's That's the same price. It's six bucks. Damn. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> you get like one tongue's poke in each ass. That's the flight. Breweries <laughs> hate this idea. Here's why. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's some good ass. Can I Are have Busby? <laughs> <laughs> These ten breweries hate this idea, <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> oh my we're, god! We're like Verge. <laughs> These saws, Michael here. <laughs> <laughs> what is an ass flight? Let's find out. Oh my god! Black Ooh. cherry. Wow. <laughs> That's a good flavor, especially when you get that black cherry in a loop. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I felt like a nerve explode in my chest. 
<laughs> that, that was face. terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now leading into this, because we, we've obviously we know each other very well, so we've been able to like bounce off and we could talk about eating ash for like an hour if we really mm-hmm. wanted to. But we have a lot of like weird and funny stories and like weird shit that's happened over the course of our. Your face went like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've experienced a lot during our friendship. Yeah, so I want to know if if anyone would like to talk about our uh, when we were winning, yeah, we yeah. went to promote Statfest. Oh, and we went oh as a pineapple. I think you guys will do it more justice than I ever could. Would, would you like to? So I'll, I'll I'll open the door. So okay. uh, we were promoting our friends, the Movers. They were doing their own music festival, and it's like a pineapple themed music festival. So they asked us to meet up at their house, and they had us put on this like pineapple makeup and everything. We were wearing like hawaiian themed clothes and we're all swim ready. trunks yeah swim trunks mm-hmm. and we're all ready to celebrate ready to promote this and they drove us out to like different bars in different areas of uh where we're situated so we're going out and we're promoting the heck out of it and i think we all have our own <laughs> takes <laughs> on, go- on what occurred oh my god yeah i forgot Cause... my id that night <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was the least of the problem <laughs> no but that was the first thing yeah. because they're all like oh we're going into the bar and they, they come out of the bar too they're yeah. like that was the best experience ever everyone loved us <laughs> the whole time i'm just internally just... <laughs> <laughs> so i i would ask matt to describe it but i think matt would go to <laughs> <laughs> would you like to describe from your point of view what occurred uh <laughs> The, the chance? The chance in the street? Yeah. yeah. The situation that occurred in that alleyway. Okay. That leads or just up. our general I, promoting I was trying experience. To, yeah. I was trying to gloss over it. <laughs> but since y'all are cool with it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's jump, dive head on in. There's yeah. this random man that walks up to us. He's like, oh, what, you guys, you look like pineapples. What's going on? And I'm surprised that he knew that we were pineapples. So he had galaxy brain going on. He's like, okay. <laughs> So what, what's what's happening? Are you doing something? And then one of us hands him uh, a flyer for Statfest. And we're trying to explain it to him. He's like, oh, that, that's cool. So uh, you better watch out for me when I'm there. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I feel yeah. like I feel like right off the bat, he didn't like me. For, no, for exactly. Reason. He was like, what was going, going after on. you for I don't know whatever what reason. I, but, I was like, hey, dude, yeah, no. Because he, uh, he asked something about, yeah, like, oh, he, how's it going to be set up? And we're yeah. like, oh, you know. And things, you're like, oh, you can, everybody's going to be out in this. And, you know, like this one area. And everybody's going to be running around, having fun, things yeah. like that. He's like, hey, running around? <laughs> like in the street? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> no. I'm like, no. I'm no, like, not at all. Like, in a. In a safe area oh, that's <laughs> well, on a road, that. but away from the road. And then he's like, like, people could be running around and get hit by a car. Like, what the hell? Uh, but I, I was like, all right, no. I'm like, people are just partying. I'm like, yeah. we have security. He goes, what? All right. I didn't say anything about security. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> why, why did you need to know? <laughs> every security, every sentence you uttered, I he know. got more agitated. I was really, I was just, I was trying my best, dude. I promise. I was like... And then it's Can't like get any worse than that. <laughs> and so we finally end up talking to this guy. I didn't say nothing because I'm like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> and so we're, I forget who you were said trying it. to help because you were like, no. I'm like, I'm like, let's get out of here. That dude I'm like, let's shady, leave. Man. Yeah. And it's like, oh, hope to see you there. He's like, yeah, you'll see me there, but not dressed like this. I was but, waiting for him to go all drunken fist so we could bukkake his Did ass. you hear Matt's story? Because Matt said that he saw him there. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, yeah, I swear. Like, yeah, at the so, food truck. So, okay, from, from my point of view, I was like, this guy's going to show up, and he's going to literally see the Space Zamboni shirts, and he's going to be like... <laughs> like fucking murder. The Kill Bill song just yeah. plays. <laughs> but we had, like, pineapple face. I had only oh a mustache, like, not showing so i looked like i was just a walking mustache pineapple guy so i was like he won't recognize me we'll be okay and then matt says that he saw him when he was walking around yeah that was weird because oh, there's this guy that's just leaning against the food truck it was that vegan or vegetarian food truck and he's just like leaning there he's got a backpack on and everything and i'm like oh no and he's just making these faces like and it's like <laughs> what 
<laughs> what is going on with this guy? I don't know. Maybe he had like allergies or something. Didn't take his Zyrtec that He's day. allergic to fun? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he, but it looked like he was just like scouting out the place. He's like... <laughs> no one scouts out of place. It's like... Crazy people do. Okay. He's just staring at a seizure at a truck. Just... And so he finally finishes leaning and gum against the truck. And apparently he was there with a lady friend because he walked over to this girl. I'm like, okay, we're safe then. Yeah. Whatever. He's not going to do anything with a lady friend there. That's his she go. Unless impossible. it's like a Bonnie and Clyde situation. But or he not. brought like the woman he hates the most. Oh <laughs> my god. Like, I hate this stupid bitch. <laughs> stupid lady. Now the meter's full. Yeah. I'm so flustered. Come on. <laughs> God, I love music so much. <laughs> this is a great festival. I can't do anything His here. His <laughs> brain can't contain the amount of fun that he's having, so he's yeah. just like, so many doesn't know how to process it. What if his backpack was just full of pineapples? That'd be crazy. That'd be really funny. Yeah. He and then like, he just like pelts us with pineapples. He worked for Dole. <laughs> <laughs> so I told you to watch out for me. I'm an agent <laughs> for Dole? Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'd be in a different outfit. This outfit has business cards. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. That All right. was wild. Uh, we're actually going to, this was really quick, but we're actually going to be going to a quick break. And after the break, we'll be talking some more with Ray and uh, just generally going over kind of our experiences. You better believe we So know. we'll see you guys after the break. Woo woo woo! Several entrepreneurs will be coming in and asking these guys, no, wait, no, these guys, for their money. Will they say yes or will they say no? Will they poo poo on the ideas? Find out tonight on. One second, hold on, hold on one second. Shark Tank! Hey, I'm Matt. So today, have you ever had this situation? Like you're taking some dank ass bong rips, and boom, all of a sudden a category four earthquake crashes into your home. Yeah. All your bong, dank water all over the place, spilling all over the floor. But let me tell you, not even more with my new product, the Quake and Bake. So the Quake and Bake is the bomb that's unspillable. What has been your sale in the last 12 months? My sales are like sky high, if you know what I mean, bro. Woo! I'm out. No, you're solving a problem, yes. right? There's no question. The question is how big can you get? Saying how scalable. Jeez, yeah. the weed industry is like a billion dollar industry. And what, what, what's the cost of good? Just the amount of weed I smoke for the most part. So that's probably like a huge expense. I'm out. I'm sorry you feel that way, bro. But listen, if you ever want to smoke some dank with me, I'll see you backstage. Just out of interest, if I give you $250,000 for 10%, how do I ever get my money back? Uh, a lot of good vibes. Um, the Quick and Bake, of course, representing. Uh, and that's about it. I'm out. What a downer. I don't, I don't see it scaling big enough to get a return. So for those reasons, I'm out. Hey, Sam, my name is Mel Felicia Shark Tank. This is very clearly filmed in front of a green screen. Is this, what, is this what you are currently gaming in? Are you gaming in like one of these little chairs? Little poopy doopy chair? Vertigear.com is one of the top sites out there if you want to purchase a comfortable gaming chair. So now, personally, when I'm playing Death Stranding for 38 hours straight, I don't want to be sitting in a poopy chair. I want to be sitting in a nice, comfortable, smooth ride, feeling like I'm on Team Rocket kind of chair. Check out Vertigear.com. They got a bunch of cool products. Check out their P-Line, their S-Line, their Trigger Line. Enjoy a comfortable chair. Much love. Good evening, Sharks. My name's Tommy, and I'm from Kentucky. That's all that matters. Missouri, Kentucky, not Kentucky, Kentucky. Um, my product is alcohol for children. And I know what you're thinking. How can we do this? How can you sell alcohol to children? That's illegal, there's a drinking age. How did you do that? We add uh, a bunch of things. We add, uh, you know, fruits, vegetables, pop rocks, regular rocks, dirt, Grass, drugs, pretty much anything that doesn't have alcohol in it, we, we try to add in for Did flavor. Did you just start this? We made two batches. Um, so the first batch um, came out pretty good, but my kid drank all of it. The, uh, the second batch we're bottling up and we're hoping to get onto the shelves at Whole Foods. 
And how do you sell it? I have a financial guy. And this is a full-time job for both of you? Like, in that, you know, we, we have like a contract and stuff, so I can't really say who it is. But let's just say his name rhymes with Bark... Barkerberg? Good for you. What is the substance that this is made out of? I have a guy in a van. He brings me um, this. It's like an anti-yeast. Um, so then he brings that to my garage. The, the trick is not getting it to ferment. Because once it starts to do that, it starts getting alcohol. Um, so, you know, I got this thing that I push it through and it like does that and it comes out. I don't really know how it works. But it, it has been, so I figured, you know, why, why change it now? And, you know. So someone could knock it off slightly and do the same thing. That's the reason. There's no they could just well, when you outright competitors right now, but there's people showing a big interest in children alcohol or anti-hall, as you know, I've been calling it. What are the economics for them and for you? I think the schools is a big market for this. Um, I think, you know, it, it can be right up there with milk and juice. So we only had a few kids overdose on it with alcohol poisoning. Thank goodness I'm here to bring us back to reality. Okay. There's practically nothing of value, right? Thank you, yeah, thank you for your time. <laughs> so if you guys can, go to spacezamboni.com slash shop and you'll find all of our March-themed merchandise. You better believe it. Do you want an Alex on your chest? You can get that all over the place. Or how the about our, our Matthew over the rainbow fucking yeah. St. Patrick's Day merch where he's going from the rainbow into my arms? Do you want the uh, Space Zamboni charms one where, where they're over a bowl of cereal and it's all Space Zamboni related charms? Do you want us eating lesbian cuisine, which is the cardboard box? Not the person, but an actual lesbian cuisine. Well, go down to spacezamboni.com and you will find it. So, uh, also feel free, if you guys are currently watching this, put a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and you will be entered for our uh, Amazon gift card win merchandise help please contest you heard us send us your hate comments give us a dislike don't click that stupid ass bell that thing it's only made for cows that thing sucks this huh click the bell. don't click that bell click the bell I, i'm gonna cut all that shit out no, never, <laughs> never. all right welcome back to the podcast everyone's having wine Whee! this and is whiskey brown wine uh <laughs> ray what's your strangest pg story with us yeah. PG-13. Strangest PG-13 story. <laughs> strangest R-rated. No, uh, strangest not NC-17. <laughs> we don't have that's, any answers. Like. <laughs> that's tough, man. Dude, this, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have very many PG-13 stories. <laughs> because, we can do R, but we can't do like NC-17. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do like... Uh, I can't mark this video as restricted. <laughs> <laughs> we have no stories like that, I promise you. We have plenty of stories. <laughs> we're, okay, I, we're a fun group. I will never forget, because this, this story is in the back of my mind all the time. <laughs> I'll never forget the yeah. time that... Uh, the, the toilet thing. Do you remember the toilet thing? <laughs> I did a podcast. Not a podcast. It was a, it was a stream of Dragon Ball Z. It was <laughs> Cell versus Gohan. <laughs> all of us... Well... The rest of us, aside from myself, because I, I, I stayed behind. I went home a little early that, that night because I wanted to drink and just relax. We were at a fair. So I was like, all right, I'm a little <laughs> bored. I'm going to go on Facebook, do a little stream. And I made a drinking game out of it. Worst decision of my life. <laughs> moonshine is not the drink you'll want to use it Strawberry for. moonshine. Oh, my I'm God. Forget that. <laughs> so the game was every time... Piccolo or anyone in the show says Gohan. You have to drink. <laughs> oh, right. And that fight, Gohan. Holy shit. <laughs> my eyeball! Oh, damn. I got wine in my eyeball! <laughs> That's Keep okay. going, we're good. It's just circulating a little bit quicker. Yeah. That's a good thing. <laughs> so, so, I do the stream. 
Not even 20 minutes into it, I'm already shit housed. <laughs> yeah. So, well, that, when we got back, you were obliterated. <laughs> that old adage of on a scale of 97 to 100, watch our Sonic 06 series. Oh my God. Oh my God. That old adage of 97 to 100, it was 115. <laughs> yeah. So, everybody gets back, and I'm not even like too far into the jar, but I'm just like on the fucking desk, I'm sure. I don't remember most of that night. And for good reason. Yeah, you were still up and you were still drinking, dude. <laughs> that was the problem. This <laughs> is black. Oh, my God. At that time, I wasn't sure whether or not you had to eat the stuff that was in the jar. You can. So, I ate one strawberry. And the rest of that night was history. So, yeah, the, the next morning, I, I see this, this table that's in front of the couch that I was sleeping on. And it's flipped over. And in my mind, I'm thinking, wow. That, that was pretty crazy. What the fuck happened? Alex comes downstairs. And he's, he's very reasonably pissed. So, <laughs> I'm like, dude, what happened? It's like, I need to pick that up. <laughs> like, okay. Do you want to... Do you want to tell me? That was a heavy-ass table, it dude. It was a tire. <laughs> it's like, what, what happened, though? He's like, okay, so let me run you down. <laughs> Everything that happened, you got up from that couch, and you somehow broke the toilet in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know how, but there was water spurting out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> then you walked over into the living room like a fucking zombie, <laughs> and somehow managed to knock over the TV, and I saved it at the last second. <laughs> Pick that bastard up. <laughs> and the whole time, I'm just... I'm never drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are today. Yeah. Cheers. Dude, it was Greg. so funny. Moderation. Because I think the funniest thing was, was waking up twice in the middle of the night. Once was <laughs> I was like I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I see the TV. Just all, almost on the fucking floor. I'm like, oh my god. So I fucking pick it up. And I'm like, dude, are you good? Are you okay? You're like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> you go to the bathroom and then like, I try to go to bed, and then I hear again. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way. I'm like, what the happened? So I go to the bathroom, the toilet just like shifted, and water just coming out from the floor. Oh my and god! And I'm like, holy Christ! <laughs> <laughs> but it was so funny. It's such a funny story looking back. How'd you fix the toilet? I just slid it back into position and tried to like. I wiggled it till the water stopped pouring. Oh, <laughs> to this day, I've tried my very hardest to not black out like that. But if I may segue into another story real 100%. quick. This one's also another personal favorite that I have not told anybody. It's another blackout story. Do you guys remember that night we were at Amy and Steve's and I ended up going for halal food? Yeah, yeah oh yeah. my god, you went gone. missing for two hours. We drove around looking for you. <laughs> If we, we went to the house, we went to the halal place. Yeah, the halal place was like, yeah, that guy came here an hour ago. We're like, oh my god! We showed him a picture of you like it was a missing person yeah. like, poster. We had you on a milk carton. We're like, have you seen this boy? That like, was yeah, like, an hour ago. If Link's Awakening and that one episode of The Office where Michael goes missing were meshed together, that was pretty much my night because that was an adventure. I remember. Because I was slowly blacking out as I was walking down the steps to go outside. Because I was hungry oh as fuck. God. And all I was thinking of was a chicken cheesesteak and some french fries. <laughs> so, <laughs> I go outside. And I ended up going to the halal place first thing. Like I got there. I didn't get lost. Got my food. Walked out. And for some reason, I went the other way. Like, the left side of the restaurant. Which I had no idea how to get back from that road. <laughs> And I ended up going, like, about a mile outward. Man, my phone ended up dying oh on the way God. back. So I was like... Damn, we were trying to call oh. you, and it would just go to voicemail. <laughs> yeah. We were like, he's dead somewhere. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> can have to him. Thought. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's we gotta dead. find him. For, for 20 minutes, I was trying to just... Look at the street signs, even though I didn't know where the fuck I was. It's like, what is, what is even any of this? And I find this one dude, this one single dude that's just walking along the street. I'm like, hey. He's like, 
what? Do you know how to get back home? (laughs) 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 He's like, bro, what are you talking about? (laughs) He's like, I'm lost. I don't know how to get back home. (laughs) He's like, oh, where are you trying to go, man? And he's like, I don't know where that is, bro. (laughs) Like, oh, man, do you got your phone? So yeah, yeah. Uh, come come walk with me, man. I'm, I got I got to do some stuff. So <laughs> I ended up walking with this stranger for like a good like thirty minutes. Oh, Raymond. We ended up chilling out and just talking about life at this <laughs> at this like I don't know if it was like a school or whatever. We, yeah, yeah, we looked at the school and we <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh we, my we God. thought he'd be at the school. Yeah. Right. it started pouring, so like yeah. we ended up just hanging out underneath this little like overpass. That's nuts. Yeah, oh I was like, yo, dude, do, do you want some food? He's like, yeah, what you got? He's like, I got chicken, cheesesteak, and some fries. He's like, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, we were outside like the guy from Heavy Rain. Damn. We're like, Ray? Yeah. Ray? <laughs> it's fucking down Oh, my we're God. We're driving. The wiper's on high. It's like, dr, yeah. dr, dr. <laughs> we're like, oh, God, no. <laughs> no, nah, it, it was great. He, he actually. You had this life-changing experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we ended up, we shared, we shared a doobie. What? Yeah. Oh man! I, I gave him some food. We shared a doobie. We were talking about life for like about an hour and shit. And oh my god! It, it was nice. Yeah, he, he was telling me about his life, about who he was and shit. I was like, oh man, this is great. Where is this man? I don't know. He, I think that he was a ghost, probably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably wasn't real. <laughs> I, I never saw him. Exactly. Drunk like, that's how the ghost story ends. <laughs> no number. It's never just saw like a again. phantom. Yeah, it's like, like, you walk like one day. <laughs> And like a tombstones in that school, <laughs> and it's like that name sounds familiar. <laughs> oh my god, it's that but, guy I shared a sandwich with and a doobie. But like, what? Once the rain stopped, he's like, "All right, man, what's the address you're trying to find?" So like, I gave him the address, and he had to like hold my hand the whole fucking like not literally <laughs> hold my hand, but just because I couldn't like That's crazy. see straight. He or literally walk held straight. your hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We frolicked back to home. Because <laughs> he kept having to look back like, bro, come on, man. You got to walk. You got to walk properly, bro. Like, All right. Yeah. <laughs> got back like near the street. He was like, no, nah, I can't walk you like to the place because that shit is sketch. And motherfuckers can't be seeing me like that. I was like, All right, man. Damn. All right. That's cool. Thank you, though. Thank you. So after that, I didn't see him. Damn, wow, ever that again. sounds like a really nice person, he though. Was, yeah. He was cool. And then he you looked nice back, and, and there was only two footsteps in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an 80s was movie. He just fades yeah. back into the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because like, when we, before, so Ray oh stayed with God. us for a little bit. So before that, me and Ray had like this video chat, and we were playing a game. It was a drinking game. I have so, it on my computer still. <laughs> so, I've not so, deleted it to this So day. the drinking game was we were watching The Flash, and anytime someone went, Barry, Barry, <laughs> me and Ray had to take a shot. I was doing Moonshine, and I forgot what, what were you doing. I still don't know how the fuck you did. Dude, there was like an assortment of vodka. That was just it. So back then I was like 213 pounds, so Moonshine hit me like nothing. I, I was able understand. to like finish a jar and then be like, I'm okay. <laughs> 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 so literally, Barry, shot, Barry, shot. <laughs> So at the end of it, me and Ray were like, ah, bro, man, we're just, uh, I love you so much. <laughs> I'm like, I can't wait for you to stay with me. Oh, it's it's going to be so fun. And you're like, I, I, I know, man. Dude, it was the funniest. Like, that, That's the only reason I could picture like the full story of you walking with this guy is because I know like when we get to that level of just gone... <laughs> life stories just start spurring out <laughs> that, that was good you know it, it was a wholesome time we got a lot of stuff out there you know we got to know each other a lot better and you know waking up at 3 p.m the next day was not even the important part of that. <laughs> you know <laughs> oh my god all right right so, so speaking of that guy who just disappears yeah we could either go into ghost stories or we could show you you always show us crackhead videos. So Ray has a very good tendency. If anyone's friends with Ray, uh, Ray on Facebook, he sh- shares like the best crackhead stuff <laughs> He shares ever. some dank ass memes. So I thought it'd be appropriate to show him some crackhead videos. Oh, yes. So we first I do want to... Sh- I know. I'll, we'll jump into crackhead first and we'll go into Dragon Ball Hill because I feel like we're at least segueing into crackhead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me make sure I'm recording... 
So, Raymond, in the meantime, a lesbian cuisine, going back to that, what would be yeah. in a lesbian cuisine meal? You know how many times I get asked something similar to that, and I just, I don't know how to answer that, because it, fried ice. Fried ice. Fried, fried ice, ice. With, with some habanero sauce. Mm, that sounds tasty. Yeah. Okay, so I'm intrigued. What would be like the snack, the dessert snack with the lesbian cuisine? Goldfish. Goldfish. Mm. Goldfish crackers. Snack that's miles back. Mm. Would Sweet. they be the s'mores kind? There's a s'mores. Yeah, goldfish? you better believe it. Those are the ones I would get all the time. S'mores is like my favorite flavor of anything. Pop tart s'mores were the best. I used to be in high school class. Toasted marshmallow, I would make <laughs> jelly bellies. Yo, there's like look at this fuck. there's way too many videos of me in high school making pop tarts have sex. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's like a whole like friends came up to me senior year being like, "Do you remember when you used to make pop tarts just like fuck?" And I'm like, <laughs> "No." <laughs> I They're like, you, "You did." <laughs> I was like, "No." Can you reenact yes. that? Yeah. Uh, it was mostly just. Eating one in the shape of a dick and then just going, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gotta have my pops. <laughs> Oops, it's it's cool. gone. So this is this is the first one. Um, I'm going to make sure we are recording now. So I'm going to do like... I thought we were just doing memes. I didn't realize it's literal crackheads. I like No, this. this is a crackhead compilation. Wow. Because, Ray, dude, honestly, every time you show me a crackhead video, first off, I die. <laughs> because like it's so funny especially like the, i quoted it earlier but hey it's like from one of the crackhead videos oh yeah wait a minute Mr. <laughs> so this is the first one i wanted to show you because ba- i literally had to fu- i was gonna search like tiktok tiktok always has a like, great weird crackhead stuff yeah. but i was like no i need a compilation Sounds so here, an here's the first what's one the cat this. Say? Meow. what's the dog say ooh, 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 ooh. what's the giraffe say uh, he off the limb. I don't think he talk. What's the elephant <laughs> say? <laughs> What's the horse say? <laughs> What's the goat say? Yeah, bad, bad. What do you say? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> Because he's a cute little crack man. I like him. My heart is soft for people addicted to crack. <laughs> what was he holding? I don't know. A bag. A satchel. <laughs> like one of those homeless satchels. That's like, I'll see you. A little bit. He was like that egg thief from Spyro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Someone oh. asked me at a fucking store, like, what does this animal sound make? I'm not just going to start sitting there for as long as he asked me. I would. To just start uttering. I, w- I am weird enough to do that. I think you would be, like, weirded out by it. You'd be like, even you would be like, uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I have, I have complied to friends' requests about doing this is not a friend this is a random ass guy whatever <laughs> maybe he might be a friend i don't know friendships yeah. come in all shapes and forms gentlemen you could tell this was going to be a wild ride because a second into this video he went from so <laughs> <laughs> his his face was just like <laughs> i'm ready <laughs> so i was going to show you like a few other ones but th- this one is is i think the next one that i want to stop at it had some of the ones you showed me in it so I was like, as long as it has ones that Ray hasn't seen, we're clear. Have you seen that one? <laughs> the one that the, the one I saw? just showed you? No. Beautiful. All right. So hopefully you haven't seen this one either. Did you ever? <laughs> Wait, no, this isn't it. I gotta go bike. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that guy just pooped. Hold on, I gotta go back. <laughs> it, was, it was before this guy that pooped. Hold on, let's go back before the poop guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Someone you shit him. Pocket, so- bro. Come here. Huh? What you got in your pocket? Oh, shit, cat. Okay. <laughs> 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 what you got in your pocket? Oh, it's a cat. No big deal. All right, see you later. <laughs> Why was he so nonchalant? Yeah, I got a cat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the video what? ends literally right after that. That's why it was so quick to do the next one. Literally right after that, the video ends. <laughs> this guy's walking through the street. The cat in his pocket. It's a full cat. You see the cat trying to jump back into his pocket. It, like You think the cat would be trying to escape. No. This cat's trying to go back into his fucking pocket. This man laced catnip with crack. He's oh. a scientist. 
Damn. What's up, Matt? Nothing. I can't find the videos that I was looking at that made me crack up. <laughs> I, I, you, I understand you guys love crack videos. My form of crack videos are videos of people secretly pooping in oh, public that are caught on video camera. I love those. I've those seen ones you so got. Like they, they slip it out the pants. <laughs> yeah, no, oh my god. No, I, I love it. <laughs> like just open up one leg and let the poop slide out. No. <laughs> it's just it's the dookie slide. <laughs> All right, Ray, there's one, there's one so more funny from, from this one that I thought you'd get a kick out of. I'm glad you like the cat one. Because oh, my I, God. I, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so here's, here's the last one of this compilation. Shit. I can't let this pass. Wow. You focus and turn it. Look at you, man. Some of you get every shit. They ain't ready for this. He reminds me of A-Train. Secret of your pride, man. What's behind your pride? If every crackhead's in that good of shape, I better start smoking crack. They all are, dude. They all look like... Holy moly. They're so lean. Yeah, damn. I just love... Man, you really focused. (laughs) It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what you doing? I don't know. (laughs) This guy this shit. Like, what do you mean? (laughs) You're the one walking around with it. (laughs) He has no clue. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm on the streets. You know what it is. It's like... No! He's just doing the daily grind. He did his rise and grind. (laughs) Please! Please fucking clarify! Look at it. He's like Rudolph the doped up reindeer. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, dude. I could not get enough of that. And I literally think there's so much of it on the internet. You can't escape it, dude. No. And I love it. That's the caviar of memes. (laughs) Yeah. Caviar of memes. (laughs) You oh see memes God. everywhere. Yeah. And it's no big deal. But as soon as you see a crackhead video, it sparks something. <laughs> ah, in you. And you want to find more. <laughs> I want to find more guys walking on the street with cats in their pockets. <laughs> it, it's they're, they're rare these days. They're so far and few in between that when you do find one, you're just like, I'm saving this. I like the one of that guy that you had that was frozen on the pole. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. That I guy wish I had was otherworldly. He was gone. a snake. His ankles turned to just straight yeah. melted butter. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that's him on the pole. And then they're like, "Oh, damn! <laughs> this guy's know. all cracked up." <laughs> we gotta give. I want to give credit to uh, it's me, the banana, for putting up a compilation, but also. Uh, to all the original filmers of those videos. And to all the crackheads out there, we appreciate you. That, yeah. We understand that you're going through a rough time. You, you Possibly. got this. Possibly. Unless you're having a really <gasps> great time on crack, then keep on enjoying life. Hey, you know, you do you. Oh, we were going to show you a video. It's called Pickle Surprise. It's down. No! How is that possible? It was working a week ago. I don't know. Because Apparently, Pickle Surprise has been actually taken not down. even a week ago. Like no. A couple of days ago. It was literally, like that. Monday is literally up. Today, Pickle Surprise is down. So, um, for those of you wondering, like, uh, who Ray actually is, too, we, we do want to show you this video. It's from his channel. Uh, I think if you do go to YouTube. <laughs> Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. excuse me. If you go to youtube.com slash iRayslayer, you can find it, or you just go to YouTube, search Lesbian Cuisine, you can find it that way as well. So, uh, Ray has made the series, it's called Dragon Ball Hill. This is just a promo for one of his videos. Um, I think it's fucking brilliant. Uh, because literally, there, things like this don't exist to this quality. Yeah, Dragon Ball Hill is like supreme, <laughs> and you put a lot of passion and a lot of work into these videos, they're hilarious. And let me tell you, Hank Hill. Dank ass mean, all the way. Yeah, and and you got his voice down too. I mean, you use clips from the show, but I think you could literally record your own audio and people wouldn't <laughs> fucking know, because you got it so on point. It's ridiculous. All right, so this is it's like a twenty eight second teaser for one of his videos. Um, we literally can't get flagged, so fuck you, YouTube. But here we go. You wanna know about old Hank? <laughs> well, <laughs> Hank's got a lot of Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. B A B A B E B B I B I B O B B I B O. I said, shut your mouth. Now, prepare for an eternity of me kicking your ass. Okay, dude. 
If that doesn't rev your engines, then I don't know it's what It's so does. brilliant. So even when Ray, like, stayed with us, there'd be points where we would just say, Ray, it'd be so funny if, like, I don't know, when a fucking Goku turned into a pineapple. <laughs> and he'd be like, I got you. <laughs> he'd be like, all right, dude. That night. That Holy hell. <laughs> then, like, Ray was so creative with all that stuff. And, and you're still working on, I believe, new stuff in terms of that style where it's, like, weird crossovers and stuff like that, too. Yeah, in in a sense, trying to figure out new ways of getting it getting it done, you know. Yeah, but dude, that stuff's it's so funny and so brilliant, and and I think that, in my professional opinion, I think it would be great if that led people to all your other shit because your shit is so good. Yeah. And I think if someone literally stayed on your channel because we do the Osamatsu dub and mm -hmm. we have people that only come for the Osamatsu dub. Yeah. I would love if people actually stayed and watched the other content too because. It's like the creator has all these fun and creative ideas. And it's like, dude, you create so many funny fucking things. So I love this series, but I, I really want it to be... If anyone does watch it from this video, please use it as a gateway to all of Ray's other content. Because Ray's got fucking hilarious stuff. Thank so you. genuinely, please check it out. I'm done sucking your dick. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> um i want to do a really quick dive we have about 10 15 minutes left yeah so um we do have a bunch of ghost stories i don't know if we want to go into any of them real quickly but basically when we lived at my parents house before i got my own house we always experienced like weird weird shit uh, 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 give a quick example of like something weird that it, that we had happen. So okay, there was there was one night where I, I was downstairs. I was in the basement. I was chilling out. I don't. I, that was on YouTube. I guess I was doing whatever. And Alex and his wife Gianna are upstairs. I wasn't sure like what was happening there. They were probably doing their own thing. I hear a loud. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And it was a fart. <laughs> <laughs> but it was such a thunderous fart. Oh, like, I respected fuck. that shit. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. Okay, so that was at a point in my relationship with Gianna. We're going to go start a different day. That was a point in my relationship with Gianna where I didn't normally, like, break wind, as some would professionally say. So uh, I wanted to show Gianna that... I can break it. <laughs> and I wanted to give her the reasons why I shouldn't. Because she, she expected me to be like, poot. And then be like, ooh, someone just pooted. I'm like, no, no, no. It's the reason I don't fart. Because when you leave the house, I close the door, and it sounds like fucking Hiroshima. It's, it, <laughs> oh sound, it sounds like 4th of July. It sounds like nukes going off. So this shit is like life-changing bullshit. <laughs> So, John is sitting upstairs. I think we're, we're having some kind of tension. And I literally fucking sit on the floor. I'm like, fine, John. Here we go. And I went. <laughs> <laughs> so you it did was, a horse sneeze. <laughs> yeah, like out my ass. So to the point where <laughs> we just hear Ray in the basement go, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> it shook the house, man. Damn. Dude, it, it shook the awesome. house. That was awesome. Dude. No wonder why the, our area had that minimal earthquake. <laughs> that everybody felt the earth shake. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, Damn. no. Yeah, I, I, I shook the house. And, and John was like, oh my God. <laughs> and since then, it, it's, it hasn't necessarily been an open book. There's still days where she walks out and I'm like, I'll be quaint. <laughs> and then there's other days where it... it and nothing breaks the tension like a, a crisp fart. That was like potential mm. unleashed, bro. It's just... Yes. <laughs> That's your quirk. You just... That's my quirk. Just make this earth-shattering fart. Oh, my God. That busts through time and space. <laughs> I do have an actual ghost story. Okay. So... Does it involve the ghost shitting itself? No. 
Damn. I, mean, I never shit myself at my <laughs> 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 Now that we know the ghost just means Alex. <laughs> no, I never fucking shit myself. <laughs> Damn it. Not even when you were working at that place that must not be named. That's not for this uh, not for this podcast. <laughs> All right. There's there is a TV oh that God. I have at home. That was oh. that was passed down to me when I moved into my apartment by Alex and John. They owned it. It was in uh, their apartment. And I remember them telling me beforehand, they're like, you know, I think something's weird with this TV. And I never once noticed what was going on with it. Like, whenever I was, like, in the same room as them, like, nothing weird would happen. Mm. But they would tell me, like, yeah, man, like, it would just flip out for no reason. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's just a defective TV. Then I get it. It's in my house. We have everybody over. And for some reason, when it's just me in the house, it's fine. Nothing happens. Other people come over. I don't even have the remote in my hand. Nobody has the remote in their hand. But the TV starts flipping through random channels. It'll start, like the settings will start getting tweaked a little bit. And I'm just sitting there like, bro, you having a stroke? And <laughs> that's, that's a weird shit with that TV. Because we'll literally, because our first assumption, we always go to scientific first. We're like... What is causing it? Who's doing this? Fuck you. So we'll move the remote. We'll put it in like the middle of the room. Everyone watches the remote and the TV still fucking does that shit. Yeah. And it's weird. We have an episode. It's on our website, the spaceandbony.com website. Us playing Kingdom Hearts and the TV starts fucking with the volume by itself. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And we literally have that episode up where you'll just hear like the volume go. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, dude, what the fuck is going on? No way. Got- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It got to a point where I was, I think you were, we were like going to stop at one point to like figure out what the fuck yeah. was going on. Because it, it was getting really weird. Yeah. It was like every every couple, we were in the Tarzan level. I remember that. And the volume was just going up and down. Yeah. Up and down. It starts going to the seat and But even when me and John would, would like just sleep watching TV. And even that actually happens now with our big TV. We'll come downstairs. It's just on. And like weird shit like that. That's weird. But we've had plenty of ghost stories, but we'll dive into it for a different time. But because for now, unfortunately, we do have to wrap up this episode. Boo. And was that not the quickest fucking podcast you've ever been on? Yeah, that was fun. It <laughs> was a lot of fun. So uh, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate everything. And we will see you guys next time. Much love. How for you to say, kisses. Can you do it fast? Eat ass. Uh, hey sharks, uh, my name is Alex from Space Samboni. I have this very cool product. It's called uh, Pay for My Bus Fare So I Can Go Home. You know, when I had nothing, you know what I really hated? I hated when people wanted to give me a break. So uh, I'm very confused as to how I even ended up here. That is such crap. No, no it is I'm not crap. Here. I saw two double doors. I thought I was walking into Penn Station. And then I saw you guys, so if you guys could give me like bus fare, train fare, that'd be great. We are not the charity tent. No, no we're we are not, not the charity tent. That's not charity, Rob. But Robert. you know what? That's not charity. charity. Really? How does that work? Eddie. What are you talking about? You bet on the person. If you if you could Venmo me, I do you want to Venmo me the money? Enough information to feel like I want to be part no, of the ride. If, if you there, help me out with this I transaction, I will leave and then I'm going to take a train and I'll be home. And if you want, we can exchange numbers. I'll send you a text when I get back. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Space Samboni Game of the Month. So guess what today's game is? Uh, you won't be able to guess because we didn't tell you yet. Eating ass. <laughs> you better believe it. So today's game, we're going to be playing a really fun, kind of improv game. Where within these cups, these beautiful, beautiful cups, we have prompts. And we also have different things. So we have character names, we have uh, country locations. So basically, we're gonna have to take a location, take a name, take a celebrity. We're gonna have to act out whatever it is using the prompt, and provided that the first person to guess it. So if Ray guesses it, Ray does not have to eat a bean. Ray does not have to take a spoon of Marmite. Ray does not have to take a shot. Matt would. So Matt's fine with it, so whatever. But I'm cool basically, with whoever gets this first doesn't have to be tortured. So that's the way the game's gonna be played. I will be doing the first round to give you guys an example of how everything's gonna be run. 
Uh, that one's the maneuver yeah, cup. This the is other a cup ones are. We have a couple of fictional characters, a couple of celebrities, a couple of accents. So I like doing the fictional characters because to me they're easier. There's also a mix of weird, random things within it too. Sometimes you'll just get an emotion. Sometimes you'll just get a wor one word thing. That's to throw us off to make it harder to guess. So, this is my word and my prompt is describing my first job. Wow. All right. So you guys are going to have to guess what character, what celebrity, whatever I am. Oh. All right. You ready? Yes. Describing my first job. I was working as a plumber. Make a guess. Okay, so Ray. <laughs> Damn. So Ray will now either have to take a spoon of Marmite, take a risk with the beans, or take a shot. I think the risk with the beans is good because he got a 50 50. <laughs> it's a good risk, I assure you. Yeah, it's perfect. And uh, Matt, can you explain the, the beans while Ray eats them? So when you have these beans, you've got half the amount of beans that are normal flavor, and then half that are poopy flavored. Like you could have dead fish. Did you get dead fish? Is that like the color of our barf? Because you could either have had peach or strawberry banana smoothie. Because those beans look the same. But you have a good side and you got a bad side. Usually the good side's on the right. <laughs> right. The bad side's what on the it? left. Your face! <laughs> so what did yours taste like? Did it taste acidic? Because that was probably barf. Did it taste fishy? That might have been dead fish. Unless yours tasted like strawberry banana or peach. I think you got peach mixed with dead fish. That really? Was fucking gross. The old, yeah, yours might have been gone. stinky sock then. Oh, there you are. Okay, because so, you have the so little right. bit of, of the nugget of the now, tutti frutti. Now you're up. So now you get to go, and it'll be between me and Matt, and then Matt gets to go. You better believe it. So you're it. up, sir. Now it's your turn, champion. Visiting someone in the hospital. Cool. Okay. Hello, man. Donald Trump. Damn, dude. Fuck! <laughs> You didn't even let me do my skit. <laughs> oh, fuck! Let me tell you something about my best friend. That's a big spoonful. Yes, it is. It looks like caramel. Mm, mm, mm. That's not chocolate pudding. Uh, Matt, you're up. I'm just gonna have this spoon on. You call me. Matt, you're a fucking monster right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! No, it tastes like chicken. Oh god, it smells. <coughs> Holy shit. It smells like chicken. Let it him sit, like let him sit, Matt. <laughs> Fuck! He's like, ah, 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 ah. Matt's been preparing for this. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> I'm being oh, interviewed. It tastes like straight yeast. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> so so I'm being, I'm being interviewed. <sighs> hey, hey. So that's the song. No. Oh, what do you do? Rocky Balboa. What's going on with me and the pair? Hey, man. I'm not. Robert De Niro. Yes. Fuck! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, beat it is! <laughs> Are we going down the rabbit hole? <laughs> the little rabbit hole. I don't know what that was. That tastes. Oh, beat! Yes! Thank God! <laughs> See, the beans are the way to go for the most part, but I do enjoy marma. Oh my god, trying that marma. All right, I'm scared. Do we each get a separate spoon? No, you gotta eat my spoon. You gotta eat my saliva. Oh. It's, it's the consequence. Oh well, it's not the first time I've got your saliva in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll give you tree fifty to throw it around for me. What? Oh god, <laughs> that fucking water fight was a word for the machine. All right. So the prompt. Is jumping out of a plane. This one is a little more obscure. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. So, so what we're doing is jumping out of a plane? Okay. Alright. Jump a cop free. No, it's not necessarily a person or a thing. It's more of like just. You're just anxious jumping out of a plane. No. You're scared to jump out of a plane. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> right. So, right. What's she doing? <laughs> Who was it? It was, it was scared. It was scared. Oh, Man, I was afraid. I was scared. Uh, <laughs> Matt's a fucking boss at this. Bullshit, Matt. <laughs> Damn. Delicious marmite, huh? 
It looks like chocolate pudding, but it's not chocolate pudding. It doesn't taste like caramel. It's just a secret. It tastes like straight caramel. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Man, you guys are taking big scoopies. Oh, that's too much for me. Look at Tanya from experience. Oh, look at that. Yeah, twirl it around the spoon. Yeah, get all that Marmite action on there. Fuck yeah. Mmm. Nice and gooey gooey. Mmm. You got this, Raymond. <laughs> All right, Matt, you're up. Come on. Wait, I thought... Wait, no, raise up. Yeah. Raise up. Stay in that. You're up, my boy. <laughs> you're up. No, Matt, you can't. You gotta get away. That's so good. I like that. That's beefy. Ray, it's your prompt. It's your turn. Right. I mean, it really tastes oh. like beef bouillon. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh shit! It's uh, burning my mouth. Matt guesses too quick, man. This is scary. Mm. <laughs> you guys gonna finish this spoon? Oh. Don't eat a large spoonful of Marmite. I Please. actually, I'd rather have the. Uh, the even Mar the Marmite's I'm, I'm okay with, but now I'm not. A, I, don't know, I don't know if I'm cool with eating the spoon. You're just straight up licking now. Hey, <laughs> it's my treat. Uh, my San Francisco treat. Dude, this uh, like this like eating the ramen package. Yeah. No, like it's five of them. It's beef. All right. It's like all together spoonful that big as a lot to deal with. It's a big spoon. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, mm. oh, that's a good salt lick. Not the me. Aftertaste is actually better than the actual. No, it's really good. Aftertaste is pretty good. I'm okay. No, even during the licking, it's good. Oh, I'm telling you, Mr. Alux, Marmite's the bomb. Put that on some toast. I'd be a happy man. Ordering the drink. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hi, robot. I would love to uh, get vodka on the rocks. C three PO, please. Fuck Hitler. <laughs> yeah, you get. You might be getting close. German. <laughs> German purse. Uh, Indiana Jones on a fucking alley. <laughs> Do a more. A lumberjack. Do more than just throw your. Can I get a vodka cranberry, please? A garner. How long do we have to go before we both have to do something? If we if we can't guess it, he has to do something. <laughs> oh, damn. More, more, I eat that Marmite! Oh, that Marmite's dope. No, it is not, Matt! <laughs> more hands! Like more hands! Okay. Come Wait, follow me. Over. Follow me. You're a sign. sign. You're, you're a road trafficker. You're a you work at Disneyland! Controller. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Let's have one of my favorite themes. I guess so you get to have the beef. <laughs> Woo! I'm Holy gonna try... Shit, <laughs> I don't know how the fuck did this I always get the bad thing. flavor, so let's see what bad flavor I got. Dog food. Dog food? You got dog food? <sighs> nope, nope, no, no, no. I'm not falling for that. Dog food. I don't want to eat dog food. That food's unmistakable. Mmm. Ah, uh, it tastes good. My tongue tastes like shit. Yeah. Mm. Just from that marmite. Matt, oh, no. Yeah. It's God. good. Matt Marmite's here, good. Matt's out of here looking at Marmite spoon. I don't believe you ever since the, the fucking cheese incident. I like Limburger cheese and Marmite. I like all Limburger the Limburger cheese is weird. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see here. That one's the miscellaneous. Oh, shit. That one's whatever. Let's do this one. <laughs> okay, so right. what we got for you today is you were abducted. Uh -oh. Okay, oh, so that doesn't. That's blurry as shit. All right, so great. Abducted. I've been abducted. <laughs> I'm being abducted. Skeeter? Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> Mr. Magoo. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. Pennywise, clown, you're a clown. Ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> is it me again? Hell yeah. All right, so this is this could be the last round for each person. Last round for each person. Yeah, we've already been going for like 11 plus minutes. Why is this green? It looks like guacamole. Oh, okay, that one's a fun one. It's a guacamole bean. Juicy peach. Pear. Juicy uh, pear. Or it could be grass clippings. Please. Oh, it's probably grass clippings. Grass clippings, clippings wasn't bad. It tastes like pepper. Oh, 
Oh, fucking shit. It's either booger. No, it's bear. Oh, fucking oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let my last one for this for this round of games. Yeah. My prompt. He's escaping prison. You're right. That is blurry. It's escaping prison. I promise you. Ooh, cool. Spider-Man, Wolverine, a mute, a dog, a raccoon, a monkey, cat. Ray, you gotta say words. I was trying to give you more time. <laughs> Austin Powers? No, it was the cat. cat. Yeah. He's guessing animals. Ray's gotta say something soon. And the hamster like... on the wheel was just. <laughs> that was confused. Too. Was, if was you want to so... remind me, you can have it. Oh. I'm currently eating oh. this food. You can also finish your drink. Okay. Have a jelly <laughs> bean. Oh, fuck. You're doing yeah, a jelly bean? Yeah, do that one. I'll do both. Oh, fuck. Why is. No. This looks like Munster cheese. Cheers, mister. Did you get buttered popcorn? Or did you get moldy cheese? Oh no, <laughs> that's a moldy cheese face. Oh no, that's a moldy cheese face! Oh no! Mm. Alright. Disgusting, son. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're up. I mean, actually, this is good. It means you don't have to do anything. Finish this for quitters. Oh. Mm. Fucking moldy yeah. cheese. Damn, mm -hmm. man. They need a marmite jelly bean. I remember dog food being really fucking bad, so mm -hmm. I don't want any. I always thought dog marmite foods. probably tasted like dog food, but no, dog food tastes. Are you just still making oh. that marmite? Oh, that doesn't help. It's good. Alright, my dude. Yeah. Mixing that with the liquor makes it taste like armpit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. cool. I, don't like I think you food. found their new flavor. Armpit flavor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I really hope the audio is okay from this, or else we're gonna have to like dub over all this. This is gonna be really awkward. Cool. We could be like Kung Pao. Yeah. Tastes like shit. Eats Eat like chicken. chicken. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's still shit. Mm. All right. You know what? Me out with two guys while licking dog food. All right, right. We're doing a mind melt. Come on, come on. Hand me that. Tell me what this. Yes. You're a dog. Wrestling an alligator. <laughs> Bro, yeah! Come Bro. on! <laughs> He's still in first! Yes! Yes, no bean! <laughs> oh, thank Christ! Man, this is just easy for you, man! I don't know. Like Free for the crop, Raggy! I hit the coin for it. I was like, yeah! <laughs> What that is one was tutti frutti. Ah, oh, oh, damn it! That's good. Mm -hmm. Fuck! Mm -hmm. Alright, Matt, you're up. Last round of the game. Oh, man. <laughs> Here it is, dude. This is, this is for all the mar all the Jenna Marbles. All the Jenna Marbles up in this bean. We love the Jenna Marbles. Whoever loses, Matt, Matt has to do four beans at once. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm eating a spoonful of wine. I honestly, uh, uh, that sounds fucking disgusting. That's just way too much salt. That is yes, it is. I can feel my heart just palpating right now. Describing yourself. Describing yourself. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. So this is me as something describing myself. Uh, elderly. Elderly I woman. Like, oh, I love Old pets. woman. That's definitely an old woman. Old lady. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. You know what? No, 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 it's the last one. I got this. I got this. Because I... You got to chew on that bean. I will chew on the bean. You got to chew on it. That doesn't taste good in my fingers. I forgot it's terrible. <laughs> no, it's good. It tastes beefy. Thank you guys for watching the game. The jelly bean looks like a fetus, bro. Jesus. Dude, you got moldy cheese. You got moldy cheese, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing to my life. <laughs> Yay, now take a shot. <laughs> All right, <I> <laughs> 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 <laughs>